for class. Class? What are you talking about? Get back to sleep. But if I don't have class, Aaron, you need to sleep. But no, it's wrong. Uh, it's not wrong. No one wakes up for another two hours except Derek, so please sleep. Who's Derek? He's the local farmer. Huh. Okay. Now please go to sleep. May I go downstairs and get a glass of water? Eh? Yeah, sure. Just be quiet. Wouldn't want to wake up mom or dad at this hour. Mm-hmm. I will be quiet. Uh, okay. I'll go. I'll be right back. Honey, what are you doing up so early? How long have you been here? Uh, two hours, I believe. I had to have class. I'm sorry, but I had to borrow one of your books. That's fine, just... You don't have to wake up so early. But what about classes? Classes? What's the thing about classes? So I can learn. I need to learn. Of course, learning is important, but... Not this early. But... What about this? I can ask my husband if he can teach us more about writing and all that. Does that sound good? Okay. When? After lunch, maybe. But that's not early at all. What am I supposed to do before that? Whatever you wish. Mm, but it's... I can't. Shh. It's okay. You're going to get used to it. What do we have to do with after lunch? Yes, it's better that way. Don't worry, you'll get used to it soon. Okay. Now, I'm going to make some breakfast for you. Okay. Hey, miss, why didn't Tyler or you leave yesterday? What are you talking about? Why didn't you leave to hunt for food? Oh, um, we don't hunt for our own food. We buy it in the market. Yeah, either way, I'll get cooking going. Okay, yeah. Huh. Huh. Good morning, Aaron. Did you fall asleep again? Oh, no, I didn't. That sucks. Boys, clean your hands. Breakfast is ready. Seriously? Ugh, I washed my hands yesterday. Exactly, now clean your hands. Yes, miss. You follow our orders? Seriously? Well, being clean is important. Ugh, fine. <laughs> uh. So, Aaron, I'm heading out to the help to farmer today. Want to go through hell with me? Oh, uh, no thanks. There could be dangerous. Hey, do you remember his name? Y yeah. That's great, but I still want you to come. Archer? What, Mom? He can listen to your orders so nicely. Why can't he listen to mine? I, I, I don't mean it like that, Aaron. I respect you and all that, but I want to help you. I could die. It doesn't make sense. Why can't you spend hours in the attic where the air from outside comes into, with sleeves and all, but you can just go outside? That's because there's a special protection spell that protects me from the outside. Uh, no, we don't have that. What? He's right. 
Where did you get that protection spell from? My father told me that every single house had them. Even ours did. Well, that proves my point. You're not allergic to the outside. Th this this isn't right. Aaron, please calm down. Here, sit down and I'll get you a glass of water. Hmm. Fine. There you go. How are you feeling? A lot better, thanks. It's no problem. I still can't believe. It's okay, honey. You can take as long as you want thinking about this. Why would father lie to me like that? Well, I don't know. Maybe it's because he's a creepy old dude who's literally shifty and everyone hates. Archer! I don't need him. Why not? He looked up, locked you up in your entire life inside one house, and he has probably by 100% used a weapon to toxinate you. Yes, but... And has lied to you your entire life. And that's enough, Archer. Oh no, even worse. He probably kidnapped you from a loving family when you were very young and took you into the middle of the forest, raised on his own. Maybe you're some long lost lord's son or something. Oh, ha ha. How likely would that be? It would have been way better if you'd just been locked up inside of a basement your, basement your entire life, and when he died, someone finally found you and took care of you, teaching you to read, talk, and write because you never learned that for your parents. That sounds like the most horrible thing ever. Even if it was a book or whatever, I would never touch that. It's also typical. Eh. Oh, and may I guess, they finally find my parents and I magically have the same name now as I did when I, they gave me, gave me it and that I have some brother or something around that. Okay, this sounds like some low budget thing a person made. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm still not going outside. Oh, come on! Give him time. He has a lot to think about right now. But I don't want to help Derek all on my own. Well, then why don't you ask that little Daisy girl for help? Who's Daisy? A girl my little archer has a crush on. Mom, stop! Hmm. Either way, I'll set everything up for breakfast. Oh, and Aaron? Yeah? Don't be afraid to go outside. It's not as dangerous as you might think. Yeah. I guess. <sighs> oh, uh, Irene told me you were here. Yeah. How are you feeling? I'm fine. Just a bit shocked, I guess. That's understandable. But don't worry, you'll get used to everything very quickly. Mm, I don't want to go outside. You don't have to. Just take your time. I will. Now, come with me. I really told me you wanted to have a class, correct? B -b but I thought she told me it would be after lunch. Yeah, but better to focus on something else than on your father and the outside for a bit. Does that sound good? But it's not right to start before. Hmm? Feels so wrong. It's okay. Not everything is planned in life. And the most important thing is to get used to changes. Fine. But I just have to change what I'm doing then. Hmm? What are you doing? I don't know. I guess I'm just sitting here. But I still really don't want to change it. My father told me that it's important to have a moment for yourself. Oh, yeah, um, that's correct. So, but if if I can't have my moment for myself, then how can I? How does it go then? Um, actually, 
What about this? When you're finished here, you can come and find me. I'll be staying inside until 3 p.m. What happens then? I'll have to go to off to work. Aren't you an offer? That I am, but I also have to do other jobs outside of that. Hmm. Well, I'll come to you when I'm finished with being by myself. Sounds good. Come see me whenever. Yeah, I will. Hey guys, Yolatan here, and I hope y'all enjoyed this video. So, I have made some changes for a little bit. Um, if you watched the video and didn't skip to the end, then if you did, then I'm surprised. But if you watched the full video, then you know that I made some changes, like the camera that just showed, and plus these guys. I hope they're shown through uh, the fence up there and that's you may think that I put that squid in there but I did not I was just putting these in and I noticed that squid just swimming around and I'm I don't know where he came from I don't know how he could like come here I there's more squids there's an ocean of squids here. Um. Okay. There's. I think I made this well too deep. So yeah, we have a well of squids. I'm going to delete them. I'm so sorry, squids. I'm. I can't have you in my well. So I don't know how these just came in here. I have no ooh that's a creepy sound I have no idea why there's okay nine squids in this place kind of crazy uh, so yeah uh, so as I said before I've made some changes like the camera and these guys I don't usually have NPCs just being around out that aren't supposed to be for recording or, or obviously recording but outside of recording because obviously I haven't talked with these I'm still in the house or Aaron is still in the house but yeah uh, I'm trying to get my role place a little bit better and I hope hope you guys like it uh, so yeah I hope you all enjoyed this episode here and yeah uh, I'll just end the episode here no squids I hope you all enjoyed it, and yeah, bye!